Rocco, uh, disappointing day, obviously, with uh, your two best pitchers uh, taking losses like that. Uh, any idea uh, what suddenly changed for Jose uh, with his uh, command in uh, the fifth inning? You know, n not uh, in particular. I mean, he was very sharp. I, Jose threw the ball really well, um, gave us, uh, you know, four good innings. Uh, we go uh, out there and um, – he, you know, the, the command just, you know, wasn't uh, what it was earlier in the game. I mean, that's, that's really uh, what it comes down to. His pitch count wasn't exceptionally high at the time. It's not like I think he was uh, fading in any way physically. I think uh, it was probably more of a release point uh, thing than anything else. Um, but uh, if there was anything beyond that, I'm, I was certainly not aware of it. And uh, again, uh, Jose's, really good. We're going to lean on him in those middle innings at times, let him go out there and, and pitch. Uh, but, uh, you know, obviously his command wavered a little bit and uh, they ended up with some base runners and, uh, you know, a couple other things happened, you know, a couple walks and, uh, you know, a ball that, you know, was almost caught in center field and uh, another ball that's not hit especially hard to second base that we just kind of stop. And, uh, you know, a lot of things just kind of uh, added up um, before we took him out. Rocco, uh, Josh had a chance to, to test his hamstring pretty early there. How did he look to you and how did he come out of the game feeling? Yeah, I, I mean, I think physically it was, a, it was a good first day for Josh. I think he went out there, he played well. Um, it's pretty unbelievable that after, uh, you know, being off the field for a little while with a hamstring that immediately, of course, that's how uh, baseball works. He ends up uh, having to get tested multiple times. Um came out of it good, went out there, had some good at-bats for us, uh, and it was a, a positive day in that regard. Hey, Rocco, how is Byron doing? Um, and what can you tell us about how what, uh, what he's going through? Yeah, so, you know, from everything that I've, uh, you know, connected with the, the trainers on, and there's there's been a lot going on today with the doubleheader, um, I've, I've, I just heard that uh, – you know, the, the plan originally was for Buck to be out there for game two. I just think that uh, with him trying to get it going, uh, get it worked on in the training room, little hamstring soreness um, ended up uh, just keeping him out of both games. But uh, coming in this morning, there was a, an anticipation that he would be uh, OK to play. We just weren't going to play him in both games. That was what we uh, uh, the thought coming in. But, um, you know, out of. Uh, cautiousness, making sure that, that this, uh, heals up fine. And is not something that lingers. Uh, we decided that, uh, once, once the first game we got going, we kind of talked and, and decided that he wasn't going to play, uh, in either game. What is your assessment of the, uh, quality of at bats you're seeing with runners in scoring position in particular, but I guess overall, um, over these last few games? Yeah, I, I think our at bats against the starting pitchers have been, uh, they haven't been bad. I think we, we've gone out there and competed fine earlier in the games. Uh, when we've gotten guys in scoring position, we obviously just haven't uh, haven't delivered and, and haven't brought really many runs home. I mean, I'm not telling anybody uh, anything they don't know, but I think it's uh, probably a combination of uh, uh, not having quite the at-bats that we want. But when we have, and, and a few times we have hit the ball hard with some people on base, uh, that really hasn't played out uh, well for us either. So, um you know, it, it will. I mean, the caliber of hitters that we have is just too good for that not to uh, play out in our favor. Obviously, we're we're not playing uh, winning baseball right now, but, I'll, you know, it feels like uh, with the exception of this last game, um, we've had opportunities to win essentially every game we've played this year. So uh, if we keep competing like that, I think the pieces are going to fall just fine for us. Uh, we got to keep playing hard. We got to stay focused and uh uh, not get, uh, you know, distracted with, uh, you know, some of these losses in the way that they've kind of played out.